everybody and welcome to another thrifty Thursday and I can't wait to share with you what I got this week at the thrift store now I didn't get a lot but what I did get is something I'm gonna be able to use all year round so the first thing I got was something that was I thought really cute it was one dollar it is farmhouse culture now this is something that you use just for sitting around the house it's supposed to look like an antique but I thought it was adorable and it is like the farmhouse decorations that are highly sought after these days so I thought it was really cute and I will use this for something but nothing to do with cooking this mesh colander this is great I've never seen one like this so I'm gonna really be able to use this for all kinds of projects on the homestead and then for another dollar I got this one now I thought this was really unique as well so I'm going to be able to use these. I use these kind of strainers all the time and I actually have quite a collection of them. I keep some out here in the canning garage and then of course I have some in the house. But this one here I thought was really unique. And what else I got was all the baskets were half off. So these were a dollar each. I got six of them, but they were only 50 cents. They are beautiful. They have the bamboo in the middle. It's a mat with bamboo, all one piece. I'm using these for all of my herbs. So I love to dry all kinds of flowers. I love to dry all kinds of herbs. And a flat basket like this is perfect for that. In fact, I can sit it up above me here in this hanging dryer that I made. So I thought this was a really good deal and I did buy six of them because I've never seen these before and who knows if I ever will see them again. So I wanted to get a plenty of them so I had enough. So I'm thinking it would be great if I could find some kind of wooden rack that I actually could slide these in. Yeah, I so I think they're really cute. These beautiful placemats. Aren't they so pretty, the fabric? I paid 35 cents a piece for them and I got four of them. I just thought they were adorable. Now, I bet you're wondering why I use so many of these. I use this kind of material for all kinds of things. I use it to dry my dishes. I use it to put my herbs on. I use it with canning. I use lots and lots of different kinds of cloths, all kinds of shapes, all kinds of sizes for all kinds of projects. And, and I realized that it looks so pretty like this <laughs> and you can reuse them over and over again a lot of people use paper towels I don't use paper towels I use things like this and then I rewash them over and over again so when I'm going out and picking some of my very delicate herbs I will use a tray like this so for 35 cents a piece and for 50 cents for the tray I think this is quite a bargain and it looks pretty too. What I've been working on in the garden as far as my herbs and I'm going to show you why I love using these kind of flat trays. So follow me out in the garden and I'll show you what I've been working on today. This beautiful plant is called the chamomile and chamomile has an apple type scent to it. It's beautiful. It's also perennial and it grows every single year even in the northeast. So what is chamomile? Chamomile is known for its quality to help you sleep at night, to calm your nerves. You take the heads of these flowers and you can brew yourself a tea. And that tea is supposed to be really good for a sedative. Chamomile is also great infused in oil and then strained and then added to beeswax to make a beautiful salve that is great for all kinds of bug bites and things of your skin. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to harvest our chamomile. I got this basket for free. It's perfect for something like this because it's lined with some burlap. I'm going to cut the end of the chamomile. By cutting the tops of the chamomile will also induce growth that it will become bushier. Chamomile I grew from seed and I grew it last year from seed. This year, it's the first year it's blooming. You can buy chamomile plants at almost any store, even Lowe's and places that are hardware stores. 
carry the plants of chamomile. To leave just a few flowers on so these flowers can go to seed so it can replant itself. When harvesting herbs that have flowers on them, make sure you leave some of the flowers on. That way they can become mature and they can drop the seeds and produce flowers for you for next year. Basket of chamomile and I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to take all the heads off the chamomile and I will dry it. For me, I just dry it at air temperature and within six to seven days, it's totally dry and then you can pack it away in a glass jar. So I'm going to show you today all of my herbs that I have. This is the prime time of the year in June where all of these herbs start to flower and to bloom. I'm going to share with you all the different herbs that I have and in the coming videos I will share with you uses of these herbs. Brunswort is starting to flower. Once it flowers I will be harvesting the flowers. St. John's wort is great for people that have depression. Also you can use it as an ointment. Yarrow is amazing. Echinacea. Mugwort is what this is and mugwort is also very well in making salves and ointments. All of this is oregano. Peppermint. Most of this stuff I planted by seed, but it's now seven to eight years old. Comfrey. All kinds of different teas. Lamb's ear. Lamb's ear is great in making homemade band-aids. I have fever few up in my upper garden. Clover I'm planting, calendula, all kinds of plants that I started from seed that aren't mature yet. Behind me are sunchokes. Sunchokes are like a potato and they come up year after year and you, you consume them like a potato. Those are ground cherries. This is daylilies, which people can also consume. I use them just for the flowers. Celery, hyssop, which is just growing now. Licorice hyssop. It's time to harvest some of my spinach and lettuce. The garlic is doing well and so are the potatoes, the green beans, the red beets. It's been a slow start but things are finally starting to come in production. Soon after planting my tomatoes I started to have flooding my tomatoes aren't doing so well and I'm going to use these, these fertilizer spikes. I love using these, they worked amazing. And in a matter of one week I'm going to see a difference. So I'm using these today to help give my tomatoes a boost start for the year. I have 52 tomato plants and I really rely on my tomatoes for my harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in each of the tomatoes. And when we get rain, this will slowly, in 30 days, will start to make the tomatoes give them nutrients that they otherwise wouldn't have. I hope you enjoyed this video and I just wanted to give you a reminder, if you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed, go ahead, click the subscribe button. That way you are notified anytime a new video comes out. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!